Car Engines Part 2 An Intro for Kids from Sanger Academy If you want to understand car engines, you have to understand how the pistons get going. When someone turns the engine on, turns the ignition key, the car's battery sends a whole lot of electricity to the starter. That's one reason the battery has to be so big. And the job of the starter is simply to start the main engine. That's what gets the pistons going in the first place. But the pistons have to keep going after they start. What keeps them going? As I said in part one, it's three things. One, fuel. Two, air. And three, sparks of electricity. Let's take these three things in turn. The fuel and air first have to be mixed together, either by a part called the carburetor, in older cars, or by a fuel injector in newer cars. A fuel injector squirts the mixture into the cylinders. Remember, the cylinders are where the pistons move. In any case, the fuel and air are mixed just above the pistons in a place called the intake manifold. Now, let's back up. To move, the pistons also need sparks to make those little explosions. So, where does the electricity for the spark plugs come from? Spark plugs aren't little batteries, you know. They don't have their own electricity. Spark plugs get their electricity from that big car battery again. and also a part called the alternator, once the engine gets going. So, the electricity starts in the battery and alternator, and from there it goes to the ignition coil, where it is increased or transformed. And it is sent to a part called the distributor which sends electricity to the right spark plug at just the right time. So, that's how the spark plugs get their sparks. The whole system is called the ignition system. Now we're finally at the pistons. Everything in the engine helps the pistons to keep going up and down inside their cylinders. You remember that fuel-air mixture we discussed? It gets into a piston through a valve, a little doorway that can open and shut. The valve is here at the bottom. Each cylinder has at least two valves. Now let's talk about four steps that the car's pistons and valves go through. This is where the magic happens. Each one of the four steps is called a stroke. Step one, a valve opens and a piston goes down, taking in the air and gasoline. This is called the intake stroke. Step two, now the valve is shut. The piston goes up squeezing or compressing the air and gasoline. This is called the compression stroke. Step three, the spark plug sparks, making the fuel air mixture explode, which drives the piston downward again. Remember, that's called combustion. That's where all the power comes from. This is called the combustion or power stroke. Bang! 
Step 4. The other valve opens and lets out the exhaust, the hot smoky stuff that the explosion made. The piston comes up a second time, pushing the stuff out. So the last step is the exhaust stroke. Bye bye exhaust. The four steps again. One intake. Two compression. Bang. Three combustion. Four exhaust. Bye bye exhaust. Exhaust basically means smoke. Actually, all the gases left over after the fuel air mixture explodes. So, where does the exhaust go? Well, it starts out in the exhaust manifold, which collects the exhaust from all the cylinders into a single pipe. The exhaust manifold is covered by a heat shield. Now, the exhaust is full of toxic or poisonous gases. So, it goes through a part that converts or changes some of the gases into something less dangerous. This part is called the catalytic converter. Finally, the exhaust goes out of a muffler, which quiets the noise coming out from the engine. And finally, out of a pipe called the tailpipe, which you can see sticking out of the ends of cars. The end. Want to know how the pistons make the car go? Check out part three.